right, so I'm down here on uh, in Scarborough, sunny Scarborough today. Um, so just tell me a little bit about yourself, Will. What, what, what are you up to? Um, well, I'm a fisherman from Scarborough. Uh, I've been doing it about 20 years since I left school. Um, my family has done it for hundreds of years, I think. First, on family tree it goes back to 1754 in Pye Lake. Right, so, okay, oh my God. Crabs, lobsters, a bit of fish really. How's the fishing at the moment? Is it, is it, is um, it, okay? it, it It's picked up a little bit. It was winter time, your January, February, March, it goes real slack because water gets too cold. Crabs and lobsters are just diving out, like, so as soon as you get a little bit of warmer weather, so things start yeah. picking up. Crabs come out, lobsters come out a little bit and then they hold up again. Just starting to hold up a little bit now. So how have you had to adapt then with, with like, what's happening at the moment with the, with the COVID thing? Um, well, at first I, I, I hadn't, I couldn't. Uh, just basically got told that we couldn't land any more of our products of the market, China, Spain, Belgium, France, they just shut up shops, so I got my head to get rid of a little bit, I thought, I wonder if I can start selling to the public, really. Yeah, mm. a lot of people haven't really done that. Um, they haven't they gone fishing, I thought, well, I can't, I, li I literally couldn't stay at home either, that was a problem. They have been really good, the public. Um, I, I shared a post, and I weren't expecting to do that well, to be honest, I thought, People don't really like dealing with crabs and lobsters. They don't really know what to do with them. No, I think it's, I think this has opened people's minds to it, and, and hopefully we can get people to eat more sort of you know crabs, lobster, live shellfish, local yeah. crabs. I mean, in this country, we export so much, don't we? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's like it's, eighty something percent. Isn't it? Yeah, it's terrible. I mean, I I did read one saying that like ninety percent, ninety five percent of shellfish goes abroad. Yeah, I mean, which is crazy, really. It's a national treasure. Do you think things like um, buying direct and things like that will will continue after this? Or yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm open to do it full time. Yeah, full time. Uh, so that has that has really changed the way you think about your business. What's, what's yeah, happened? yeah, one hundred percent. It's. I mean, a it was a little bit of needs must. I thought I felt like I had to do it. Um, I couldn't just like say I could just sit there. But as I got as people generated a little bit, I felt the help. I'll have to, I'll do another post when I want to go to sea again. Um, and it just, it carried on from there really. It's, so it's really getting, getting more and more people wanting stuff and then people messaging me asking if I, when I'm going to sea again, when are you going to sea again? I won't mind some more crabs or I won't mind some more lobsters. So I said, as long as you want it, I'll keep yeah. going. You've adapted your business it near enough overnight. It was, it was very tough because obviously, they, I mean, they did release some grants in the end, but it was a, especially off the back of a bad winter. Yeah. It was a long time with no money to yeah. come, really. So what's a typical sort of fishing day like for you? What time do you work? Um, two or three o'clock in the morning. Really? Yeah. Three. I think I was up at three o'clock this morning. We went, we went at four. Um, been a little bit quick today, having a little bit of an earlier day, but like, it's usually three, four in afternoon. But how far do you, how far do you go out? Uh, Furthest I go is about 25 miles. 12 hour days are usually not. Yeah, so it's a long hour day for you anyway. Yeah. Well, I set up Scarborough Shellfish, part of our company with but um, basically, obviously not being at sea, couldn't handle being at sea and taking orders at the same time. <laughs> well, and then they asked the missus if she could take a few orders for me and then write it down and it sort of kicked kicked off from there so she, she was putting them on for a sheet let me know how much what people wanted so I could get in and sort it out and it'd be nice if it could get a lot bigger in a way yeah but but I think it's really impressive what you're doing on Instagram and Facebook and things like that and we, I mentioned to you earlier about um, you're connecting the public with it because you're putting you're showing people's dishes on it you're yeah. encouraging them to come onto your onto your forum and share and other people can see that and sort of oh you know look, look, we can do that yeah. we can do this and, Mrs. Yeah. has started cooking a bit as well, so that's a bit of a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> There's been none of that in my house. <laughs> to be honest, it's, it's inspired me as well, because it's amazing to see what other people do with shellfish. You're still busy with um, you know, taking orders and, and yeah, all the time. If, the, as long as people still want to buy it off me, I'll still supply it. Yeah. And that, 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 how it'll always be. If it dries up, it dries up, if it doesn't, which I hope it doesn't, yeah. I'll carry on and I'll carry on as, as far as I can go. We really want to start supporting guys like Will and Scarborough Shellfish uh, by buying it fresh. 
can't get any fresher. I've just come. I've just seen the boat come in because we haven't landed it here. And, you know, it's, it's amazing. It's fabulous. So we need, really need to support the shellfish and fish industry as a whole, but especially the guys like Will. So let's not export 80, 90 percent of our lovely shellfish. Let's keep it on here and on the east coast, and let's get get it eaten. Thanks very much. People like Will should be commended about with what they what, what they're doing and what they what they're trying to do. And actually, for me, someone like Will from Scarborough Shellfish is a true northeast food hero.